Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be listening to DSP rant about negativity on the internet because instead of being the change that he wants to see, he instead decided to be the very thing that he hates, negative. Ironic. Shout out to Memology101 for the upload, I appreciate it. And big ups Meerkat, I used a snippet from one of his DSP parody songs. He does pretty good music, make sure to go check him out, both links will be in the description. But I'm not even kidding you. The response I'm seeing to me playing Armored Core 6 was, oh, well, it was a FromSoft game, and we were expecting Phil to fail endlessly and rage at it as if it were Dark Souls. He's not doing that. Therefore, this is not fun, and we're moving on, and we're not going to watch or support it. I mean, you did kind of do that at the first boss of the game, but after that, not so much. And on the stream that I was watching, that is definitely when the chat was popping off the most, for sure. That I don't understand. Like, why do I have to not like a game for there to be enjoyment? Why can't I actually enjoy something and then have it be quality? Why are so many people on the internet based around toxicity and negativity instead of actual genuine joy? It's because you're a lol cow, DSP. Most people, I feel like, are on the internet to just have fun. But a lot of people watch you to make fun of you and see you angry and upset. That's part of being a lol cow. Not everyone's chats or comment section looks like yours. If you go to a normal person's YouTuber uh, stream and check their chat, they're completely normal, just people having a good time talking about the game, talking to the content creator. But you, you're a different breed. That's what gets me. On YouTube right now, if I made a video <clears throat> that said, this is the absolute best game I've ever played and you must check it out. And if I also made a video that said, this is the absolute worst game I've ever played and you must avoid it like the plague and here's why, let me rip it a new asshole. The negative video will get 10 times more views than the positive video. That's just the way the internet works, man. You should know that was your shtick for literally years and you are a big AVGN fan back in the day and he was as negative as it came. Every game that he reviewed was a piece of shit this, a, a stinky duty fuck that. It's really nothing new. You just want to fucking complain about something. And I can outright show you evidence of that. Not skewed statistics, but realistic ones. All you got to do is head over to my old edited content channel, KO Gaming. I made a video about how Homefront The Revolution was the worst game I had played to that point, and that video got over a million views within a couple of weeks. Then I made a video about how Uncharted 4 was my favorite game of the year, and here's why, and that video pulled in a couple tens of thousands of views, and that was it. Just from him listing these two examples, I'd rather watch the Homefront video too. Homefront was slightly anticipated, so to hear someone say that it's the worst game they've ever played is already interesting. And at the time, possibly unexpected. But if I saw another fucking title saying that Uncharted 4 was the greatest game of the year, that is the most milk toast fucking opinion that I could see on the internet. I'm absolutely not clicking that video. What are you gonna tell me? That the graphics look great? That the story is good? That you like the characters? How fucking interesting is that? In the home front video, you could show me glitches or you could show me funny moments where the dialogue is bad or you could show me how the uh, combat mechanics just don't really work together correctly or the game's bugged and the button inputs don't work. But if you're going to sit there and say good things about Uncharted 4, you're going to show me what fucking climbing sections and third person standard ass shooting? Absolutely not. I'm not watching that. That's the, div the divisive difference between positivity and negativity, enjoyment and toxicity and hatred. I don't get it. In life, I would much rather be doing something that I enjoy than something that I hate. Then you should just hop off the stream and go drink yourself to death while playing WWE Champions, because that's all you enjoy at this point. You don't enjoy being here. You, it's, it's evident in every stream that you're on that you clearly don't like doing this. You don't like your audience, and they don't like you for the most part. I would much, much rather play a game that I think is one of the best games I've ever played and share that with you than play a game that I think is a piece of overhyped, underdeveloped, unfinished dog shit and rip it a new asshole. You say that, but that's exactly how you described Final Fantasy 16. Despite your audience asking you to not play it for several streams in a row, you insisted that you had to finish it. So don't give me that shit that you'd rather go play a game that you like, because you didn't like that one and you fucking beat it. For several streams you hated it. But that's supposedly what people want to see and that's what I don't understand. Why did so many people on Earth become so fucking negative and toxic? What happened to humanity? 
was it always like this? This dude is really questioning the morality of humanity because people like to see him get angry on the internet. That's some real main character syndrome, isn't it? Never mind how brutal and barbaric like it used to actually be in history. No, it's 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 a fucked up world because people want to see DSP get angry online. That's it. Because I can tell you, <clears throat> back in the day, when I was doing YouTube videos, it was a mix. There definitely were people who were along for the ride, and when I played a great game, people loved that feeling of me enjoying a game and having a good time. My Game of the Year contenders always had the biggest views and big engagement, and everyone loved them. Well, DSP, that's because this was back in a time when you weren't an obvious huge lol cow. Back then, some people actually found you funny and enjoyable. That's why you had huge engagement, not to mention that you were playing games that people actually wanted to fucking see. There also weren't nearly as many content creators as there are now. At this point, I don't know why anyone would come to your streams to see any fucking gameplay. You don't offer anything of insight. You don't actually know anything about any game at all. You're not fucking funny. You don't play the game in any sort of unique fucking way. Just about the only thing that you do different than other content creators is be angry live on stream. That pretty much is the value that you give people at this point. It's part of being a lol cow. So there really shouldn't be any question why people want to see that, because that's all you bring to the table. Now it's like, if, you know, because I rarely try to play bad games. Oh, well, he's not raging anymore, so we don't care. Like, what? <clears throat> that, it doesn't make sense to me. <clears throat> I'm very upset about this. I am. Because this mean that I'm not allowed to just enjoy what I'm doing anymore? I want to enjoy myself. I want to enjoy Armored Core 6. So far, I like it. I'm sure there'll be parts coming up that will be rage-inducing and challenging. And I think the clip channels will get a lot of views off of those parts. But I'm actually having a good time with the game. So now, every time I play it, I have to expect that people aren't going to show up and support that it's going to have terrible views because I like it? No, you should expect low views and support because you have a dying channel. Huh? But if I hated it and if my first video was, oh my god, the first boss is impossible and these game developers are assholes for making it this hard, that video would have had 20,000 views. I'm not saying he should be hamming up those moments, but when they do happen, he should be capitalizing on them for those views. I mean, he always says he runs a business and moments like that need to be capitalized on so that he can get that money. Right now, want to know how many views it has? Two. 2,000 views on part one. I mean, that's more than most of your videos get, so I don't know how you can sit here and be ungrateful. So what the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> Honestly, why do people only want this negativity? I don't get it. That's what irks me about Armored Core. And listen, I get it. If you watch me play a fighting game, if you watch me play a Soulsborne game, or maybe a first-person shooter online, and I'm raging. There's hilarity there. I get it. I understand it, too. I like the fact that people tune into me for different reasons. Then what are you bitching about? How are you going to sit here and complain but say you understand? It's pretty simple, DSP. People expected you to be upset. They expected it to be funny. That's when they find you funny. That isn't happening, maybe that won't happen, so they're disappointed and won't watch the playthrough. I don't know what there is to not understand about that. But I don't think that just because I like a game, now my playing of that game, I should expect it to be like a big reduced amount of, of attention and success and support because I like it. That's insane. Yo, imagine saying that it's insane that you aren't going to get the support you expect because you're doing a different type of content than they want. Because it's not really about whether he likes the game or not. It's about seeing him be angry and rage. Those two things don't have to be synonymous. They want rage content. If you're not going to give them rage content, then why would they support or stick around? If I went to a comedy club and they started doing poems, I'd get the fuck out of there. I wouldn't stick around and support that. That's stupid. <clears throat> what is wrong with people that they're so focused on toxicity? Listen, I get it. If you want to see me not like something, and that'll happen. There'll be times when I'm full of rage and things like that. But I want to be able to enjoy games, man. I'm getting older. And as I've told you guys, all right? <clears throat> as I'm getting older, I'm coming to realize, right? I have less time on this planet. I I'm not able to do the things I used to be able to do for the amount of times and the extent that I used to do them. Just the other day, the first time I was playing Armored Core, I'm not kidding you, these two fingers started to hurt excruciatingly. I had crazy muscle pain and nerve pain in these two fingers trying to play Armored Core. And I was like, what just happened? 
the way he complains about being older and describing the aches and pains that his body has, you'd think that he worked hard labor his entire life. When the reality is, he spent the last 15 years sitting on his ass not doing anything. Oh, I think I know what happened. He's, I'm getting older. It's carpal tunnel kicking in. This is a game. When I'm playing it, I literally have to be using all four shoulders and all four face buttons and the thumbsticks all at the same time to properly maneuver. Yo, and he describes playing a fucking video game like it's some sort of feat. Yeah, DSP, you have to hold the fucking controller to play the game. You have to push the buttons. That's what video games are about. This isn't strenuous labor, like at all. You're playing fucking video games. And this harkens back to one of my last videos when I talked about how he can make any task sound way more complicated than it needs to be. He makes the act of playing a video game with the controller sound strenuous. So I'm holding on to this controller in a way that usually I don't have to when I'm playing other games. I'm actually getting pain shooting up my arm, right? A true tragedy, really. So with all these things happening, I got to take a look at my time. And especially now that I'm a full-time streamer, I have to make sure that my time being used is meaningful. I can't play every old game that is a piece of dog shit. Why do you think I don't play every knockoff Soulsborne game? Because you'd rather play old ass games that nobody cares about like Chrono Trigger instead of games that your audience actually asks you to play? In the last couple of years, you guys said, <clears throat> why don't you play Remnant? Why don't you play uh, Thymesia? Why don't you play, what was the one with the robots last year, right? Why don't you play this one? Why don't you play that one? Are you going to play Lies of P? Are you going to play Lords of the Fallen? Hey, why don't you play it? They're all knockoffs. Souls-like is a fucking genre, you buffoon. They're not knockoffs when they're in the genre. Not every roguelike or roguelite is a knockoff of rogue. Most people who like roguelikes or roguelites have never even fucking played rogue. Same thing goes for every genre. Just like they used to call every first-person shooter a Doom clone, that's not how that shit works. It's a fucking genre. This mentality he has about Souls-like is just absurd. He's actually repeating the past by calling them Souls knockoffs instead of just calling them the genre. Like I said, the exact same thing they did with Doom back in the day and the same thing they did with GTA at a point. It's just embarrassing. They're all trying to be Soulsborne, you understand? So if I'm gonna play Soulsborne, I'll actually play Soulsborne. I'll go back to Elden Ring and I'll continue on with my run in the game that actually is the name brand. And that's all he really seems to care about is the name brand, is name recognition. Personally, as someone who didn't like Elden Ring, played it all the way through and just straight up did not enjoy it, I'd rather play a Souls knockoff than play Elden Ring or see Elden Ring again. And although I'm not his target audience, I do wind up watching a lot of his gameplay. I'd rather he play a Souls knockoff than to watch him play Elden Ring anymore because his gameplay in Elden Ring is atrocious and he's already played the game. Why do I have to play every game attempting to be what they are? I would rather focus on the good game. But again, they're not trying to be that game. They're trying to be in that genre of game. That's how genres work. And how do you know if they're not good games if you don't play them just because they're knockoffs? That doesn't fucking make sense. But all you care about is the name that's on the box and the studio it came from because all you do is consume. And if they tell you big name made it, you're going to play it and love it. That's how you work. Because that's how I think is the better use of my time, right? I don't have unlimited time, man. I'm getting older. I'm not 25, 27 years old pumping out videos on YouTube. I'm 41. I got to make the best use of my time that I can. So I'm going to play games that I have vested interest in or you have an interest in. You want to see me play. But they're asking you to play these games, you fucking numbskull. You said it yourself. They asked you to play Thymesia. They ask you to play Lies of P and you don't want to. You're not interested in it. That doesn't add up, dude. And that hopefully are going to turn out to be good playthroughs of enjoyment, not just fucking punishment and rage and, and my blood pressure going up and me freaking out, sweating and my head getting all red and me screaming. I got to stop doing that. You understand? I have to. I have to turn into someone who's making games, playthroughs, that are better, not 
rage inducing worse rage quits and shit like that that's for fucking morons and instantly the type of content that he's not interested in making is for fucking morons obviously so if ever you see someone make a video like those challenge videos that are very difficult or they play games like i want to be the boshi uh those videos are for fucking morons you're an idiot for enjoying them and those people are idiots for making them obviously sorry it just is to see someone pump out content like that constantly that's for an immature younger audience been there done that i used to make that content 10 15 years ago that's what i pumped out constantly right i didn't care about the quality of my playthrough i just wanted to rush through get it done onto the next game if i shit on the game unfairly who gives a fuck no one should be taking me seriously onto the next game you do that with games now except you don't have an audience and it's not funny so you really lose twice Today, I am a completely different person. And people still don't fucking get that for some reason. They don't understand that I have changed and evolved because a lot of the time they don't want to believe that. They just want to think you're the same toxic idiot from 10, 15 years ago. I'm not. No, you're a different toxic idiot from 10 or 15 years ago. You're probably a worse toxic idiot than you were 10 or 15 years ago, to be honest with you. Like you said, at least 10 or 15 years ago, the worst part about you was that you were kind of annoying and you did horrible gameplay. Now you're kind of annoying and you do horrible gameplay and you're a scammer and a beggar and you've released people's personal information and a scumbag to your fans and you neglect Jasper because he should have got his fucking blood test. I've grown, I've matured. Just because you want to spin it that way for your own very, very toxic personal reasons. So you can keep, keep hate watching me and saying awful things about me and get clickbait views on your junk content doesn't make it factually true, okay? So I've had enough of the bullshit. And if I want to play Armor Core 6 and enjoy it, I should be able to. And no one is stopping you from playing the game, dude. You're just salty because you want people to give you money for gameplay that they don't want to see. And not savage people telling me, well, because you're liking it now, I don't want to watch you play. What the fuck is that? If you, let me put it this way. If the only reason you ever want to see me play a game is because you want to see me dislike it and rage at it, then fuck off and don't suggest the game. I mean it. At this point in my life, I don't need toxic suggestions ever again. And if Armor Core 6 was a toxic suggestion, you're pretty pathetic and shame on you. Wasn't Jade the one that bought him the game or wanted him to play it so bad? I'm not going to say fuck you, Jade. Jade's fine. It's DSP that's the problem. Because the game actually is good and deserves to be praised for what I've seen of it so far. I'm not just going to shit on it because you're an idiot and you want to see me get my blood pressure up and freak out. I'm not five years old, all right? I'm not trying to copy the angry video game nerd in every video I do. I've become my own person, my own style of content that's meaningful to me. Meaningful to me. Yeah. And to my audience who comes by and supports me. So I don't need rage views, hate views, and nonsensical idiots coming by and trying to skew what I play and do. All right? And by the way, I'm not saying that every person who wanted to see me play Armor Core 6 is of that mindset. Okay, Jade is in the clear, but he's probably on thin ice in, in DSP's eyes. Thin ice, Jade. But it certainly seems like there was a large group because there were people campaigning to see me play Armor Core 6 pretty hardcore. And the moment I started playing it, oh, what's this? What the hell? Oh, he's not dying every five seconds. I don't get it. Right? So, there you go. There you go, I guess. I Sure. All right? Please understand that. And uh, I just had enough of the bullshit where I, I you know, why, again, if you are coming by only for toxicity and negativity, you're in the wrong place. Maybe old Phil, 10, 15 years ago, you would have been able to see that, you know? You'll see some of that when I play Street Fighter and I'm freaking out and my inputs are dropping, I'm having a bad night, but that's not what I'm all about. But those streams and videos aren't for morons, obviously, because that's content he wants to do. And it's not what he's all about. Just when he plays Street Fighter, which is like three or four days a fucking week. You're in the wrong spot, all right? So leave and stop trying to fucking rain on everyone else's parade. And again, if you're someone who only wants that and that you're actually trying to skew my playing of games because of that, you're not wanted here. 
I'd much rather play games that are going to be meaningful, positive, fun experiences. He does segments like this thinking that he's winning and he's telling the trolls off and he's getting at them. When the reality is the trolls love segments like this. This is almost better than him dying again and again and again at Armored Core. Because it's so much better knowing that you get under his skin and he thinks about you and wants you to leave and addresses you than it is to just watch him fail a bunch. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Again, shout out to Memology101 for the upload. And big ups Meerkat for the song. You guys go check that out. But as always, make sure to check out other detractor channels and dive deeper into that snortex.